Did you know consumers are spending more than $89 billion on apps? And that was just in 2023. Did you know there was more than 2 million different apps in the App Store right now? Now, you might be asking yourself, how do I get started in this? How can I launch my own game or my own application in the App Store? Well, we're going to be looking at BuildBox today and one of my favorite platforms to build different games in the App Store. And the best thing about BuildBox is you can start without learning how to code. That's right. You can do this with no code. And this is one of the best platforms and best times to get started. In the comment section down below, let me know. Are you trying to create your own game? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to create an application with another app? Let me know in the comment section down below. So let's get started. First of all, what is BuildBox? BuildBox is a platform where you can create all different types of games. And with the new BuildBox 4, you can use prompting. So if you're using something like ChatGPT, you can prompt the platform to build different assets to build your game. It's not going to build the whole game just by prompting yet, but the different assets, the different things you want to use in the game, you can be doing that with the power of AI and using BuildBox 4. Now, here are a few things that I want to mention using this platform. Number one, I love the plans. If you're going to be getting started with BuildBox, you could be paying $3.99 a, uh, a week. And let's just look at this. If we just round it off, how much is this really? I think this is less than $100 a year to get all of these different things. Let's take a look. So if you're going to do the full bundle, you're going to be paying $786 a year or the classic $9.99 a month. And what I like about this is you can start with the trial or just pay per week and get started or pay per month. So you can start testing it out, getting familiar with these things, or when you're ready, then you can shift over to a yearly plan. But some of the great things that you can be doing with this platform, we have a whole breakdown video that we've done uh, with BuildBox before and why we like this platform. But one of the things I would really break down is depending if you're trying to create a 3D game or 2D game, a fighting game, a side-scrolling game, whatever, there are so many different templates that you can choose to get started and move quickly with your idea. But that begs the question. If I'm getting started and I want to create the next great Nintendo game or create my own indie uh, platform or my indie studio, what do I need to think about? Well, first, you need to get in front of the right audience and be able to make sure that you're connecting with the right people so you understand what they're looking for. So I'd be looking in different subreddits, different gaming groups, look at what they're playing, what are they looking for, and what's lacking in the space for you to take advantage of that and create your own flair and create your own game for the App Store. Another version that we see a lot of times is if people are already, if you're into Minecraft or Roblox, you're already in a certain community, you understand what they're looking for, understanding all the different types that they're downloading, and then creating your own flair or your own unique uh, positioning and create your own game from there. Uh, if you want to hear more about how different high schoolers are killing it as a Ro Roblox developer, all of those different things with Roblox, which is just insane and in how much these studios are making for Roblox in general, please let us know. But we want to make sure if you want to try it, you can find out for free to get started with BuildBox. By the way, we're not getting paid. This isn't a paid video. I just think it's one of the best platforms if I'm trying to create something with gamification or need a game engine and I don't want to do something with Unreal or something like that. I would be looking at BuildBox to create my next game. If you like videos like this, make sure in the comment section down below, let us know. And if you want to see more, Make sure you like and subscribe. and We'll be back with more videos. We do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.